Greetings lovelies, hi it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Germany once again. I think I've received the most packages from Germany. Thank you German friends for sending me so many great wonderful things. But this package was sent to me by Mr. W. Thanks Mr. W for sending me this package and thanks for being patient. He sent to me in this lovely box labeled brake pads. I love it. <laughs> Instead of brake pads, there are lots of beautiful German things. Mr. W sent me a note, which almost reads like a pamphlet, with descriptions and pictures of everything he sent me. So, can't wait to start. He calls these treats Schmeckenwilligen, and these translate to cute little things that taste well. Yes, please excuse the continual construction. My apologies. They're replacing water mains and gas lines, everything. So, it's been all summer, all summer which my son loves, so I'm not complaining. But just to let you guys know, that's what that background noise is. Yeah, there's never a good time to film because they're working all day, so. Roten, Roten. And he said that these are the quintessential bread of Germany. And he told me to freeze them, so I took them out of the freezer last night. He says you can buy these at any bakery, but if you can't, then you can buy them packaged like this. And look how cute. It's just a little bun or a little roll. This is a six pack of them. It has a little slice down the middle. Here's the bottom. It smells nice and yeasty. I don't have anything, unfortunately, to eat them with, but I'm just gonna give it a taste. There it is, that's the inside. Mmm. And it tastes just like a, like a, what we would call like a Kaiser roll or just a bread roll here. Not at all sweet or savory for that matter. It's like the perfect canvas for putting on jams or butter, anything sweet or savory. I think this would be a perfect size for a sandwich for a little one. This is called Schuttelbrot, and I guess Schuttel means to shake, and I guess that the name comes from the technique in which this bread is made. It's a dough and then it's shaken to get into this kind of flat form. So he says to me that these originally came from Italy, but have become part of German yum yums. Great! It has these little bumps, and look at that. It's very porous. Mm. It smells a little bit like rye, maybe? Lucky Moss. Mmm! Mm hmm. As you could hear, very, very crunchy and kind of a brittle texture. And the flavor is very anisey. I think there's some fennel seeds in there. I don't know if you can see that. So as you bite it, you get this anise kind of rye bread flavor. It's good. I'm not crazy about fennel, but a little bit's okay. It makes me immediately think of pastrami. I think this would be great with pastrami, or some mustard, or just cheese. Stutten in Futter, which means student food or fodder. So I think it's like a trail mix. I think I'm gonna eat this again. I believe I ate this in my first Emmy Eats Germany video, but it's been a long time. So there are cashews, peanuts, almonds, and raisins. Yum. And they're crisp, and the raisins are nice and plump and juicy and soft. We actually eat a lot of nuts in my house. Almonds are really popular, as are cashews, and my son loves dried cranberries and raisins. So, yeah, we eat a version of this at home too. But we don't call it student flotta. <laughs> Delicious. Choco Rosinen. And this is chocolate covered raisins. And again, that sounds delicious and wholesome as well. We have a version here in the US called Raisinets. This, they must still make raisinets, right? They're all a little bit different shaped because they're raisins and they are covered in, looks like a milk chocolate. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm-hmm. The raisins are nice and soft and plump. It almost tastes prune-like because they're nice and big. Nice quality milk chocolate on the outside. Softly textured, scrumptious. Here's a little story. I used to detest raisins when I was a kid especially when they're in the sun-made boxes. Nothing against sun-made, but they came in the little raisin boxes and they would get squished in the corners. And I, it was borderline like a fear of raisins, but I've come to love them. Yay. It means I'm maturing as a person. Apfelschule, and that means apple like spritzer. Look at the little lady on the bottle. Can you see that? Liebenwürde, and Bad means spa. So those are this is an area that's famous for the sparkling waters. So I believe this is made with that kind of water. So it doesn't sound like it's too fizzy, just lightly fizzy. Mmm, smells great. It smells nice and apple juicy. Mr. W, I can't believe you sent me a beverage. This is great. Let's give it a taste. Come by. 
Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Lightly effervescent, hardly fizzy at all. And then a really lovely apple flavor, but not overly sweet. I would say at least half the sweetness of, say, apple juices that we have here. It's actually got a nice bit of tartness to it. It's great. Which means lucky charms. Mr. W tells me that these are all symbols of good luck. Dice, a little mushroom called the amanita or the flying agaric, beautiful mushroom, and clover, and a little pig, and a ladybug. He says there's one missing called the it's a chimney sweep. I love mushrooms. My husband and I actually love hunting for mushrooms. And this is a flying agaric or the amanita, which is actually poisonous. So let's eat it! Mmm. Mmm. Kind of a soft, pasty, doughy texture filled with almond flavor. It's a bit like almond extract. Slightly grainy because this is made from almonds. It's delicious. It's quite sweet. Mmm. But not overly so. The little dots are candies. Little sugar candies. Scrumptious. Let's try one of the ladybugs. These are so cute. Wrapped in foil with a cute little face. <laughs> oh, yes. This is wrapped in chocolate. Mmm. I'm with you, Mr. W. I think these are better than the other ones. Nice quality dark chocolate in the middle is more marzipan. But this one doesn't taste like almond extract. This tastes more like pure, simple almonds. Mmm. It's also less sweet, and has a little bit of a grainier texture, but divine. It's called My Platten. This is a hard candy that's made with an herb that we don't have here in the States. In German, it's called Waldmeister, which translates to the master of the forest. And in the British, call it Woodruff, but we don't have it here in the States. So I'm very curious to see what this tastes like. Little square with a ridge texture on both sides. Hmm. It's sour. Mmm. Actually tastes more kind of florally and vanilla-y than I had expected it to be. I thought it would be something kind of fresh and green. Sort of my assumption of what green woodruff would taste like. It actually tastes like an air freshener to me. I don't think I really like it. <laughs> I liked learning about it though. Nougat zongen. And I guess that means tongue. Nougat tongues. Oh! <gasps> How stinking cute is that? Look, it's a cat. I love it. Maybe it's supposed to be like a cat's tongue. <gasps> like the cat tongue cookies in France. Oh, I love those. Hmm. The outside, as you can hear, is light and crunchy, like a thin, hard candy. Slightly kind of vanilla, a little bit butterscotchy flavor. And inside is a bit of chocolate but it's really worked into the candy, so you can't really separate it. I think if this were just given to me, I wouldn't necessarily know that that was chocolate in the middle, but delicious. I really love that texture. Shoko linzen. Shoko means chocolate, and linzen means lentil, which is like a lentil bean, and this name is derived based on its shape. They're beautiful little discs. Let's see what's inside. Mm-hmm. Oh. Those are fantastic. It's dark chocolate with a crisp candy coating and mint. Yum! Love it. The coating actually reminds me a little bit of Jordan almonds that I had in my Emmy Eats Italy part two, I believe. And of course, this is delightfully minty, which is my favorite. Glacier ice. And Mr. W says that these have been around forever. And they're individually wrapped. And it's a mint. Ding, ding, ding. Mmm! That's not what I expected at all. It's got a bit of a menthol flavor. It's not like a peppermint flavor. And it's kind of fruity, a little bit like a lamune or like Japanese soda flavor. It's got like this kind of melony, lemon, kind of fruity flavor and a slight mentholated mintiness. Great, I love it. It's supposed to be kind of a, a bit of a joke. It's called case fus, which means stinky feet. <laughs> Immediately, I smell onion. They don't smell stinky at all. They look great. And they're like shaped like little feet. How cute! Mmm! And it's a cracker. 
with a nice hearty kind of grainy texture and an oniony flavor and a little bit of cheese. Mm -hmm. It tastes a bit like an onion bagel. Kazetala, which is a kind of cheese biscuit too. They are so charming. They're very similar to the Oblatsen that I had in my Emmy Eats East Germany video. I love it! On the back it has this kind of waffle. Mmm! Very light and crunchy, similar to a waffle cone or a wafer cone that you would have for ice cream. But the flavor is really different. And maybe a hint of cheese. I don't taste a lot of cheese, but just a hint. But very fun texture. Ingva, Ingva Blata, Ingva Blata. Look at this beautiful packaging. How beautiful. Is that the ginger? Oh, they smell buttery. All right, let's give that a taste. Mmm. Oh my. Those are delicious. A really light, crisp, buttery ginger snap like cookie. Really nicely made. And a little bit of ginger bit in there with a nice little chew. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mr. Duffy, for sending me this great package of more German treats, both sweet and savory things, and including so much of the historical information as well. That was really helpful. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. And let me know in the comments below if you've had any of these treats before or anything similar. I want to know. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Take care. Bye. I guess people have come up with these flavor combinations and Blaze is asking the public to vote which is their favorite flavor. So they're kind of wacky flavors. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's try the weirder sounding one first. And there is more construction outside, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Greetings lovelies, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another What You Eatin'. It's not What You Eatin' at all, actually. 